Well, good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terra Quator today. Welcome to Thursday, October 10th, 2024, day 284. I apologize. I'm keeping this one short. I've had a bit of a frustrating day today. Um, Lily and I had to go out and take care of some paperwork stuff. Nothing too major there. But... Um, I'll have to be talking with our other neighbors again soon, cause um, well, we're just we're just, we're having our neighborhoods having some serious issues right now, where there are certain people in our neighborhood whom communicating with is going to be particularly arduous, uh, language barrier, where um, they just let their dogs roam the neighborhood at any hour of the night or day and um the number of the these dogs has been growing and they're getting more aggressive and this uh, it just so happens that um well early this morning before the sun rose the dogs i could hear the dogs out there running around they were fighting and they got into our yard they were fighting in there but they got into our neighbor's yard too and they killed yet an, these dogs killed yet another one of our neighbor's cats. So I'm not exactly thrilled right now. I uh, went out there after the dogs and run off. Sun was coming up. Buttercup went to school and I went to check on the cat. And I had to watch it take its last very strained raspy breath. And the well, I wasn't expecting that to happen, but well, here we are. But I, I, I'm absolutely tired of this because this is the fourth cat that they've had and lost due to these dogs attacking their cats. And right now it's up in the air if the cat that likes to visit this house all the time, the, the black one that you've seen on um, one of my videos uh, last week. But um, the cat that likes to come over here and steal bananas... Uh, we have not seen that cat all day today, so right now it's up in the air if that cat's okay or not. But there's not a whole lot we can do because the people who the, the the groups of people who own these dogs that run around, none of them speak English. So there is a language barrier there. And because of budgetary issues, Animal animal welfare in our city is volunteer only, and there's only usually like one person on call during business hours only, and when you call them out, that's when they these people get their dogs into their home, so there's, once the dogs are inside, there's nothing they can do. So we're kind of at a, like the, na the neighbors and myself are kind of at a loss of what we can do about all these dogs running around and killing everyone's pets. It's been getting worse. They've tried to get aggressive with our kids. Um, I do know that the neighbors uh, down the street, or that way, um, down the street, uh, their kids were in their front yard and they did attack one of their kids and they had to fend the dogs off by trying to hit one of these dogs with a shovel because they bit their child's leg. So these dogs are a problem, but we don't know what we can do because anytime someone finally comes out and it, and it, when you call in, it takes them half a day to finally come out and talk. It's like we're having an immediate situation now and you're not doing anything about it. So we're, we're just, we're just at a loss. I, I've had to watch four of my neighbor's cats get killed to these dogs. A neighbor has had their kid attacked. Our, our kids have had to run inside when the dogs are running or roaming around the neighborhood. And the cat that likes to visit here hasn't been here all day. So right now we have no idea we're, we're, I'm think I'm hoping the 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 cat is okay. I'm hoping so. 
I again, I can't give a guarantee until I finally see this cat for myself and say, okay, the cat's fine. But right now, there's nothing I can do. Uh, I, I just want to come on here and be like, okay, yes, I'm still sober. I'm just really frustrated right now, so I apologize. At the time of recording, it's 6.22 p.m. So I'm very much behind, but I've been extremely exhausted today. And just just frustrated with the, this whole situation because our neighborhood is at the mercy of people's dogs whom the owners we can't even communicate with. And uh, I, I don't know. It, it, it's frustrating. It, it's extremely frustrating. We, like I said, they, I, I, I can't. I, I don't speak Spanish. So I, and the people, those of us who are having these problems, none of us do. So I don't really know what to do. I, I can keep complaining. I think maybe next time they do one of those, you know, town meetings, I'm just going to complain to city council and like, y'all need to do something about this because I do know that there is a roving dog problem in this city that they just don't do anything about. And I, I think, uh, increased fines for people who let their dogs out, not on a leash and run around increased fines and forfeiture of their pets. It, it, unfortunately it needs to start happening because, People, sh I, I do know about five years ago on another side of town, there was an elderly man where dogs broke into his yard and mauled him to death. So that's how, that's how bad this roving dog problem is here. <sighs> yeah, I'll just have to figure out when they do another town meeting. I'll go complain to city council like, y'all do something about this because... At somewhere along the line, this the neighborhood's going to start taking it into their own hands, and that's just going to turn to a, into a huge explosion of war problems no one has the resources to deal with. I certainly don't, and I don't want to be caught in the middle of it either. But anyway, I don't really have much else to talk about. It, it, it's it's just that situation. I I want to I want to talk to the neighbors when when I get the chance to let them know. I'm I'm pretty sure they know now because um well the cat was on their driveway. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, but I'll talk with them when I get the chance. I'll check with if I see the other neighbors out who uh own the cat that comes over here all the time, I'll check with them, make sure their cat's okay as well and just give them a heads up that this dog problem is becoming a bigger problem. Yeah, that's about all I can do. But I apologize to to dump that on you, have this rant and everything, but there's there's really not much else going on right now. And we'll, we'll just figure it out. Anyway, this is Terracotor on a rather frustrating Thursday. It is still October 10th, 2024, 284 days into this sobriety thing. And even though I'm incredibly frustrated right now, I assure you I will not be drinking any alcohol. I'm there, 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 a, a situation like this is no excuse to start drinking. So anyway, y'all take care of yourselves and yeah, we'll, we'll just see you all tomorrow on, on Friday. Take care of yourselves, everyone. I'm going to get going. Oh, there's some good news. I'm hearing them calling uh, from the living room right now. The black cat that comes over is okay. Apparently, he just came inside the house. So there, there's that much. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go love on a cat. I'm going to go take some Zizol. I'm going to go love on a cat. Thank goodness that one's okay. But we really need to do something about this dog, this dog problem. It's. It, it's too much. Everyone take care of yourselves. We'll see you all tomorrow on Friday. See you around.